Get in the car, loser. We're going to the thrift store. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. My name is Kelsey. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all a couple thrift hauls and how I style them in my home and on myself because I do have a little bit of a wardrobe thrift haul. So come along with me. Uh, right now, we're going to be in a local thrift store and then I'm going to be heading over to Goodwill to show y'all a little bit of my shopping and then we'll get to the haul and how I decorate.
was in this. You just tie the ends up cute. And it's a little pillow. talk about what I got. So I went to Goodwill and then I went to another thrift store um, local to me. It's like a, a family crisis center. So I've got two different hauls, kind of, it's one haul. Y'all know what I'm saying. Um, so from the thrift store that's local to me, I got this cute little butter knife. I've been looking for one of these. I was charged about 39 cents, I believe. And there's that. Not much to say about it besides it's cute. I'm going to put it over there by my butter dish. I'm always using some kind of rubber spatula, so that's going to be perfect for me. And then look at this. Look at how cute this is. Look at those flowers. I think I might put a plant in this. I'm not sure. It's pretty heavy. I paid thir Hello. Can y'all see? Okay. I paid $3.99 for this one. I thought this was so precious. I'm not sure what it is. It's it's obviously some kind of soup pot or something. Um, because it's got the little pouring spout. So got that. And then I don't know why I'm I'm out of coffee. Like I have no coffee cups. It's like I clean them out and get rid of them, and then I'm like, where's all the coffee cups? So I had to get some coffee cups. These were actually pretty cheap, 49 cents each. I like the texture of this one, and then this just has a little print on it. So and they're small, like they're not huge mugs. So sometimes I want a small cup, sometimes I want a big mug, it just depends, but I like to have a variety. And then I did end up getting this slow cooker book. It was $1.99. Look at the picture, look at that old uh, crock pot right there. It's in a really good condition. I'm super excited to actually look in this. I use my crock pot a lot, so I'm excited to look at these recipes and see cheesecake make a cheesecake in the crock pot anyways I got this one cute okay first basket this little cutie right here $2.99 for this one I'm thinking my chickens are getting older and if they start laying a lot more eggs I think I might need a bigger egg basket so and if not then it's it's a basket from the thrift store. Like you gotta buy it, right? <laughs> so anyways, there's this one. And then, love this basket. Look at that natural finish. Oh, so pretty. I think I might put, my mom said some books would look really pretty in here. So she's probably right about that, but I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but it had to come home with me. $3.99 for this. Oh, did I tell y'all? Oh yeah, yeah, I think I did. $2.99 for this one. So $3, $4, which I don't mind for these two baskets. I thought that was a pretty good price for those. So that was from just that local thrift store. This is what I got from there. This was uh, two separate trips. So then at Goodwill, I don't know if y'all saw me fooling with this thing. It's a pillow, but it was up in the kitchen stuff. And I was like, oh, maybe it's like a little picnic blanket or, so I was sitting there fiddling with the ties and thinking, oh, I'm about to open it up and something's gonna be, it's a pillow, it's just a pillow. And the ties, they're just decor, but it's cute. Look at it, look at the print and the ruffles. So I paid $2.29 for this little pillow. It came home with me, yes ma'am. Then the rest, it's just some clothes, y'all. I was going with a spring and summer theme here. So all these colors, I got this top and it's kind of similar to the one I'm wearing now. It's the knitted kind of texture and then it's got a little snag right there. All I'm gonna do is cut that off and it's gonna be perfect with some blue jeans. Got that one. And then I got this rib tank. I think all women's tops are four. 429 so this one's sleeveless and it's ribbed like that I like that one too and then 
I paid more for this one, so y'all don't judge me, but Goodwill is starting to catch on to the, the brands that they have in their store, which is extremely irritating, but I paid $11 for this American Eagle top. That's too much, but I've been really wanting some spring and summer clothes. So this is perfect. This green, it's also ribbed, and then it's got the ruffle sleeves and the little ruffle uh, bottom what do you call this? The bottom of the shirt. So, went with a little theme there and all the, you know, I've got green here. Like I just, I'm drawn to those spring colors right now. So that's everything I got. I'm gonna show y'all if I um, get everything decorated with this, I'm gonna share with y'all what I do with it. y'all I wanted to show y'all how these tops look like on me the first one I'm showing you here is just that sleeveless ribbed white top it sits perfectly at my waistline where I feel like I really don't have to tuck it in very much and I like where they sit right there um so it was actually pretty thick too like I don't think I'll need an undershirt for it the second one is this green one the American Eagle top that I paid a little bit more for um, it also sits right at my waistline, which I love. I love when the shirts hit me right there. It's just more flattering on my body type, I think. So there's that one. I love all of these shirts that I bought. I really think they just look so cute for spring and summer. The third one is that knitted looking top with like the looser sleeves. And I like how this one fits as well, just right there at the waistline. And this is another good one I can wear to church too. So I love how all of these fit and they're perfect with jeans or any other kind of bottoms. I need to get some more bottoms to wear with these kind of shirts, but I do love my blue jeans. Now I'm going to go ahead and show y'all everything I bought at Goodwill a couple days later. This little basket here for $3.29. There's the finish on it, super cute, with the little handle. I'm gonna show y'all how I um, decorate with all of these too. I just wanted to insert and go ahead and give y'all the prices and everything. $3.29. Okay, for the second item was this gorgeous throw blanket right here. Look at the colors. Look how pretty this is. It's blue, it's green, it's got this pattern this was $2.29 at Goodwill so there's that one it's got the tassels it's pretty thick too this is like that thick material so there's that one the third item is this gorgeous pillow yellow and blue and it's so pretty see it when the natural light hits it it's even prettier oh my goodness and then here's the other side and someone definitely did this themselves they handmade this sewed it themselves i don't know it's a sewing machine you know what i mean it's so pretty okay so i paid 329 i don't have a lot of yellow in my home but I do have yellow and blue flowers in my picture right here on my dining table. I'll show y'all a clip really quick of the flowers that I picked out. So this pillow, I feel like it needs to be somewhere in my kitchen. And I'm going to show you what I have in mind for this pillow. 
The last item is this little piece of wood, $1.29. I know it seems silly maybe to some people to purchase a piece of wood, but they had a bunch of these and when they have like the cute shapes like this and stuff, you can like it, see, look, it already even has holes for me. You can, um, you can glue on some little pegs and use them as risers. I should have got more. I might go back and get the other pieces so I can use them, but they make the perfect little risers. You can get like the little legs and stuff at Hobby Lobby, or you can just use it like this and set, you know, after you stain it or something, you can set a candle on it or whatever. So I think I might go get the little legs and stain it and put like a polyurethane finish on it because I want to put my dish soap and my sponge on it. So hopefully I can do that and show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, am I weird for liking it too toned like this? I don't know. I'm almost kind of liking that. I feel like I should still stain the legs, but I'm going to stain the legs and then see like how too toned that looks because I kind of like it. I kind of like that the legs stand out. So now I don't know about y'all's house, but over here, most of the time, we open a can with anything but a can opener. I've got a key here. It was in the junk drawer. I have no idea what this key goes to, but it's getting its use today. I know this bread has nothing to do with thrifting, but it looks pretty and it tastes good. I made it a couple days ago and I just really wanted a homemade sandwich with it. I could honestly take that meat and cheese off and just have a mayonnaise and tomato sandwich. I don't know about y'all, but that's so good. Anyways, thank y'all for coming along with me, shopping, thrifting, decorating, and listening to me yap about my hauls. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.